So I'm in my bike and nagpapahinga lang tayo no. So if you would uh, notice na hindi ako masyado nag-upload ng mga videos no. Hindi ako masyadong nag uh, edit and nag-upload. There had been a lot of things that has been um, I don't know even I can't even put a word or the description on it no. Ang daming gumugulo sa isipan ko, ang daming nangyayari. And alam mo sometimes it's just overwhelming no na hindi mo na alam paano mo siya gagawin. Bale I want to talk about something, you know. And uh, this is with regard to hate. Sabi ko nga eh, hate is um one of the strongest emotions, no, na meron ng tao bukod sa happiness, joy, and um sadness. Hate is uh, one of the strongest emotions that could really sway a person's um personality and uh, Baga, hindi makapag-isip na maigi because it, the the um, emotions is just too overwhelming no for a person to handle with that being said no why am i talking about this why am i talking about hate it's simple it's because ako mismo nag undergo don there was a time no before when i said that uh, 2016 i entered depression and um and at that time no at around 2016 Sabi nga, when I entered depression, I was trying to cope up with 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 that emotion, with the emotions, no, with everything that is happening in my life. I tried a lot of things, to be honest. I tried um, to be happy. I tried, you know, taking my mind off things. I tried to divert my attention and everything, you no, know? and. Uh, Sabi nga eh, riding the motorcycle became one of my go-to, no? Kumbaga, ano, para maalis yung utak ko sa, sa mga nangyayari sa buhay ko. But ultimately, syempre, pag umuwi ako, mag na lang, it all comes, you know, it, it, all, it all comes back eh. Para nag-rush in siya, para siya isang malaking tidal wave that it comes over you and it becomes too overwhelming most of the time. For me to be able to cope up with that depression and that negative feeling the only thing that i saw na nag work para sa akin is actually hate alam ko masama pakinggan i know it's very negative no to actually learn that i resorted to hate pero kasi at that time there's really nothing no that makes me feel na parang makaka-fix ng sarili ko I was so depressed, no, and I feel like na para kong kinakain ng buhay. I feel like na parang yung darkness was just really eating me up, no, from the inside. And I know pag hindi ako gumawa ng paraan, no, pag wala akong gagawin, kakainin ako ng darkness na yon. And eventually, I don't know what's gonna happen to me. So I'm aware of that, and the only thing that worked for me para hindi ako lamunin nung darkness na yun was hate the strong feeling of hate enabled me to fight back the strong feeling of hate enabled me to just survive basically and the strong feeling of hate enabled me to be to stand again on my feet Pero alam ko rin kasi that I have to pray Pero alam ko rin kasi that I have to pay the price I know na if I succumb myself into hatred There's a price to pay Pero to be honest at that time I really don't care Kasi Ang gusto ko lang is matapos to Masurvive ko lahat ng to eh. But the price that I have to pay Is actually losing myself Hindi ako dati ganito eh Hindi masayahin akong tao, napakalaid ba akong tao, but there was a need for me to have that anger for me to survive. And the price that I have to pay is for me to lose myself. Na hanggang ngayon, pinagbabayaran ko pa rin, na hanggang ngayon, I still feel that 
hate is still there. Dumalabas pa rin siya paminsan-minsan and it will always be there from the point that I entertain that hindi na maaalis yun. From time to time it will be there. And the result, well, naging mas mainitin yung ulo ko, mas magagalitin. Lalo na doon sa mga bagay na alam ko namang tama ako at alam kong I deserve that. Aside from that, no, medyo I learned to be a little bit cold sa mga tao sa palikid ko kasi it's a defense mechanism and every time that I get hurt or offended I feel that there's a need for me to be angry and the reason why I had that feeling that I need to be angry is because I need to protect myself to protect myself from everything na pwede mangyari it's a defense mechanism it, it's a uh, it's just as easy as that. And delicato ba dun is because us, as human beings, we get addicted to these things. We get addicted to certain emotions, no negative emotions, such as anger or sadness. It becomes so addictive, no, to the point that it becomes part. It becomes a habit, and once it becomes a habit, it becomes part of who we are, and it becomes part of who we are that defines us. Nakalungkot pero. It is what it is. And siguro, part of me, the reason why I'm doing this video or I'm creating this content is for me to share my experience, no? So that you guys, you would not undergo such circumstances anymore. I mean, you know, things would get out of hand. Things would just you know, unfortunate things would eventually happen to you and there would be times that you need to alam mo yun, just to deal with everything that is happening, no? But when that time when that time comes, what I hope is sana hindi kayo magsakamp sa hatred. Don't be like me. I hope na you still find happiness and joy no and you would be able to overcome everything so yun lang, no? so before i end everything up i'll be showing a clip and um, it's a voice over from coats from uh, one of my favorite tv shows the sons of anarchy and it's from the main character jack steller who is previously the vice president of the Sons of Anarchy Motorcycle Club that became a president. Yung mga videos na ipapalabas no, yung clip ko dito was from the promotional video na pinalabas ko for Preachers Pomade um, last year, no, for Preachers Retribution. And basically, Preachers Retribution is a reflection of that hate that I had before Kumbaga, it was um, the story of the preacher's retribution was there was a man ano, parang malapanisher siya he lost his family uh, someone had hurt him and he needs to take uh, retribution basically from everything that has happened to him and hatred was one of the strongest feelings that he has for him to achieve yung goal niya of yung retribution now. So yun yung clip na makikita niyo susunod and um, yun lang. So before I go, I just want to thank you all for watching and I hope that if you are uh, experiencing this, no, I hope na hindi ka makain ng hatred. I hope na don't give in to that hatred. Don't give in to to that emotion because um, you don't deserve it, man. You don't deserve the um, hatred to be there kasi sa huli, ikaw rin mahihirapan so here's the video I hope you enjoy it adios ang programang ito ay rated SPG striktong patnubay at gabay ng magulang ang kailangan maaaring may maseselang tema 
lengguahe, karahasan, seksual, horror o droga na hindi angkop sa mga bata. It's hard not to hate. People, things, institutions, when they break your spirit and take pleasure in watching you bleed. Hate is the only feeling that makes sense. But I know what hate does to a man. It tears him apart. It turns him into something he's not. Something he promised himself he'd never become. That's what I need to tell you. To let you know how hard I'm trying not to cave under the weight of all the awful things I feel in my heart. Sometimes my life feels like a deadly balancing act. What I feel slamming up against what I should do. Impulsive reactions racing to solutions miles ahead of my brain. When I look at my day, I realize that most of it was spent cleaning up the damage of the day before. In that life, I have no future. All I have is distraction and remorse. I... Maybe that's the lesson for me today. To hold on to these simple moments. Appreciate them a little more. There's not many of them left. I don't ever want that for you. Finding things that make you happy shouldn't be so hard. I know you'll face pain, suffering, hard choices. But you can't let the weight of it choke the joy out of your life. No matter what, you have to find the things that love you. Run to them. There will be days when you're forced to make decisions that affect the lives of everyone you love. Choices that will change you forever. You reach an age where you realize that being a man isn't about respect or strength. It's about being aware of all the things you touch. There's an old saying, that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I don't believe that. I think the things that try to kill you make you angry and sad. Strength comes from the good things. Your family, your friends, the satisfaction of hard work. Those are the things that will keep you whole. Those are the things to hold on to when you're broke.